it is time for this channel to enter the hell in a cell. Alright, let's go on Skills 5 here, and we are here with the 2015 Hell in a Cell prediction video. Hell in a Cell is tonight, and I cannot wait. I don't know if you guys know something, I don't know if I've mentioned this in uh, streams or stuff like that, or even in one of my videos, but out of the four base pay per views, which are WrestleMania, Royal Rumble Survivor Series, and SummerSlam, Hell in a Cell is my favorite kind of mid card pay per view as I call them like this not one of the major pay per views but like it's a pay per view. It is my favourite. Like out of excluding the four big ones, my top five would be Hell in a Cell, Extreme Rules, Elimination Chamber, Money in the Bank and United Champions. They are Hell in a Cell always had a place dear to my heart. I love it. I'm pumped and let's get straight into this prediction video. So our first match is for the Intercontinental Championship. It is Ryback versus Kevin Owens. And honestly, I don't know why we're having this match again. We had it a month ago at the United Champions. And it wasn't that good the first time. It, it, was, it was a decent match, I'll give it to them. Uh, Kevin Owens came out on top. But we're having it again. And I don't really know. Like, like It is a match as well I do care about. Because the two guys in there I really like. But who do I want to see come on top? I actually want to see Kevin Owens come out on top. Because Kevin Owens needs the run, needs the time to uh, you know develop as a main card uh, kind of champion. Like We all want Kevin Owens to be the Seth Rollins. We all want him to be the WWE World Cup Champion. And to do that, he needs the Intercontinental title to kind of boost his... his like. How would you say... Sorry guys, just trying to do something... Uh, just, you know, boost his way up into that top career path. So Kevin Owens is who I want to win. Um, sorry about all that rambling on. We're just Kevin Owens is my pick to win. Second match we have is the John Cena U.S. Open Challenge for the first time on a pay per view. Every Monday, John Cena does his Open Challenge, and every week someone accepts it. Uh, accepts it. Sorry. Um, who do I think? Well, I have three predictions. And these are three people I want. Now that are going to do it, that I want to accept it. Now, some people are saying it's not going to be Tyler Breeze. Honestly, I wish he didn't debut on Friday. And he did debut tonight. No matter what, tonight is a guarantee we are going to see a new United States champion. Because John Cena is not booked to compete until December. So the U.S. title is going to be vacated for like two months if he goes. Because there is a strict 30-day uh, policy where you have to defend the title. At least there used to be. I don't know if it's still there, but it used to be there. Who do I want to see? Well, one, I do want to see Tyler Breeze. Two, me and Tyler were kind of talking about this guy, Baron Corbin. He did not debut last month when he was supposed to. So Because, you know, obviously it got leaked down. Everyone's going to know who the mystery partner is. And unfortunately it was Chris Jericho, which was a big downfall. But maybe this time Baron Corbin will come out. I don't know. I hope he does. And takes the United States title. Third choice, which might be a yes. Maybe Dean Ambrose will come out. Because Dean Ambrose is scheduled to get a big, big push. So he doesn't have a match tonight because his match got cancelled due to Randy Orton getting injured. So, maybe... Brio, Dean Ambrose, might face Cena, and might take the title. Th those are my three picks. Let me know in the comments below who your three picks are to return tonight and face John Cena. Another match we have is for the WWE Tag Team titles. Again, for well, the second time, maybe third time, it is the Douglas versus the New Day. Once again, I'm going for the New Day. I'm out for the United Champions, going for them again, because the Douglas don't deserve the titles. I don't want the Douglas to have the titles. I have a feeling they are going to win them. But I would love, as well, I didn't say this with the US title one, my prediction was Xavier, like, before the whole table thing happened, was Xavier comes out, takes the title, and they all each have a title, like the Shield. Because after what happened on that Raw, where they just completely dominated. But I think the New Day... 
will lose titles, unfortunately. I want them to win, but I have a feeling the Douglas are going to finally take the WWE Tag Team titles. Hope I'm wrong on this one, but I have a feeling I'm going to be right. So, sorry, New Day, but the power of positivity ain't going to help you here. The next match is for the WWE World Heavyweight title, which I'm very, very disappointed in. Not because of who's in it, but because of the match. I expected to see this match inside the hell in a cell. It made sense. It's the WWE World Heavyweight title. This is the first time it's not being defended inside the hell in a cell at the hell in a cell pay-per-view. Regardless, last year it wasn't defended either, but I mean where it's actually booked for a match and, you know, it's just not done. So, who I think is going to come out on top? Seth Rollins is going to come out on top. Why? Because the rumor is he's going to beat this guy's streak. Oh, shit, my shadow's in the way. But, let me get right. That guy. CM Punk, my main man, my, well, my favorite superstar in WWE. But, so, yeah, so he's going to come out on top. And it's not going to be good. Like, I'm kind of happy he will. Because I don't want to see Kane at all. Kane, why is he even in the main event scene? Why the fuck is he there? Why is he taking away a perfect opportunity from superstars who deserve it? Superstars who need that extra push to face Rollins. Like, I would love to see even a main event between Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. Maybe even put Randy Orton in there. Of course, he's injured, so that's not going to happen. But just, you know, someone like that, someone who isn't Kane, isn't Big Show, isn't Mark Henry, isn't John Cena, give someone new a chance. Give someone new a chance, WWE. They need this. Like, you're giving someone who's going to retire in less than a year, maybe two years, the chance to face for the title. It just doesn't make sense. If he does win it, then why? What are you doing? So my pick for this is Seth Rollins. Hopefully it comes out on top. Come on, Seth. You know what to do. Next match is the first out of two Hell in a Cell matches, which is Roman Reigns versus Bray Wyatt. And this rivalry has been heating up for so long. I hated this rivalry at first, but since the huge, huge brawl they had on Raw, I've been loving this rivalry to bits. I cannot wait to watch this Hell in a Cell match tonight. Who I think is going to come out on top? I think that Roman Reigns may come out on top. Well, maybe Bray Wyatt. I don't know. It's really hard to tell because, you know, you've got Roman Reigns, the powerhouse, ready to fight and destroy Bray Wyatt. Throw him, maybe even throw him through the cage, which won't happen because they have to go through another cage match. And Bray Wyatt, who he's got Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, and Strowman. So, I don't know. I'm going to go with Roman Reigns to win. And to win the whole rivalry with him and Bray Wyatt. So, Roman Reigns is my pick. Hopefully wins. And hopefully, if this match is awesome. And last but not least, because nobody cares about the pre-show match. We have the second Hell in a Cell match. It is going to be the Beast, the Conqueror, Brock Lesnar versus the Phenom, the Undertaker. And we all saw this match back in 2003. Hell in a Cell, Brock Lesnar, the Undertaker. Is it going to be as good as then? No. It ain't going to be as good as then. It may be better, maybe shittier. Honestly, I don't see this match being uh, to the standard their match was 10, years, 10 plus years ago. So, but who do I want to see on top? Honestly, I think The Undertaker may win tonight. Uh, Brock Lesnar does need to win. Uh, there is rumors going around that Stone Cold may interrupt, but I don't see that happening really. Like, his career is over, guys. Um, I may be wrong, but I just I think his career is over. I mean, he had, like, you all know, the same problem as Edge, the neck. He has retired because of neck injury. Uh, he's, he knee problems as well. I don't, I don't see, like, Stone Cold come up against... The, the mayor of Suplex City. I don't see it happening. So I see The Undertaker winning clean tonight. I hope they actually tear down the Hell in a Cell in that match. 
And I hope that the phenom makes Brock Lesnar rest in the peace. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for my prediction video. If you didn't enjoy this, please hit the like button. Also, hit the subscribe button. Show your support to the channel. And let me know down in the comments below what your predictions are for the Hell in a Cell. Am I right? Am I wrong? Will I get every single prediction right tonight? We're going to find out. Anyways, guys, I'm Kills5, and I will speak to you all later.